Hello everybody and welcome. My name is James with First Updates Now, checking in with Team 3620, the average Joes from St. Joseph, Michigan, here at the first in Michigan St. Joseph event. Got an awesome intake, even a cannon on this robot. Here with me to talk about this robot is Andrew, Asim, Grace, and Liam here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University is looking for talented robotics students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash first updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. All right, Andrew, why don't you start off, tell me a little bit more about your intake. Yes, yeah, so our intake, we actually uh, adapted from Team 111. Um, we used their CAD for their intake once we saw that it came out. We adapted it to work best for our situation with how our robot functions. So we're able to do, we're able to pick up and place anywhere. We're able to pick up tipped over cones, just like the Wild Stangs. It's essentially just their claw adapted to fit our uh, play strategy. And then our cannon is the, we have a two-stage uh, cannon or an, uh, an extendable arm that we use to be able to reach up to the high, the mid, and the low. And we also use to be able to reach the floor. This whole thing pivots on this center axis, which allows us to reach the floor and all the way up to the uh, human player shelf. Very nice. Asim, do you want to tell me a little bit more about the compliance you guys built into your cannon? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so coming into this year, we learned a lot from what we did, uh, the mistakes last year. Our climber last year broke a lot. I think we bent it a few times in competition. So we knew that we really wanted to create something that wouldn't need as much maintenance or as much um, kind of, it just wouldn't produce that much stress to us. So our design this year was to create these Delvin rollers that fit um, in these two slots here and then on the other side as well. And they hold up the cannon and provide compliance because they slide um, in these tracks. And on the end of the tracks, we have two um, compliance wheels that kind of keep the Delrin um, centered in the um, sliders and to also provide um, structural support and just so we don't break this robot or overdrive the arm mm -hmm. we use a v-belt which allows this to slip and um, obviously not overdrive and then to Key, to know where this robot is all the time and where the arm is, we have an absolute encoder on this side. That's pretty awesome. Grace, do you want to tell me a little bit more about your diagnostics and then also your presets on this robot? Yeah, okay, so um, last year at, when we were at competition, like a couple times after matches, we'd be like, oh, something's broken, but it took forever to like know how to fix it. So this year, in, during the summer, we came up with these diagnostics that like checks the canvas kind of. Um, this turns red or green whether everything like we can see everything on the can bus and then in here I don't think we're not gonna plug anything right now but like it'll tell us like oh uh, it can't see number 11 which would be our wrist pitch motor um, so like now it, it's we've already used it already uh, yesterday like we saw that like the whole I think it was like the left side of the can bus was just like uh, something was unplugged so mm -hmm. yeah and can you tell us a little bit more about the presets, how you use those during the match and yeah. what they look like? Yeah, so um, to make it easier for our operator and driver um, and take less time to put like cones and cubes, uh, to score cones and cubes, we have these presets. Um, so it'll just, you press a button, so a high would be right bumper on the operator. And then that should be the position to place a high cone. And then we got mid, and uh, we, you can, I don't know if we could do like there. That would be like to pick up a cone off the ground. Do you want a demo picking up a cone a second? Yeah. Yep. Very nice. So Very you got smooth. a cone. And then our home position. Yep. And can you pick up out of both sides or just out of the front? Uh, we can just pick, out, pick up out of the front. Front, cool. So, yep. Nice. Liam, do you want to tell us a little bit more about the uh, the, the vision and the, the LEDs on this robot? 
Yeah, so we have swerve drive and we use odometry to track our position around the field. We sometimes odometry it can get out of out of line. So what we do to keep it on track is we use April tags with this camera right here to find our position on field and update the odometry. Mm -hmm. And then we use the we use these lights here to signal different things that can be going on with the robot. Whether it be whenever we have something going wrong with the CAN bus, we'll have this light on the dashboard, but these lights will also go red when we turn on, so we immediately know something's going wrong. And we also will use it during testing. We'll use different colors to show we're in different stages of mm -hmm. something like our auto balance routine. That's great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. 3620 Average Joe's. Great robot performing very well here at St. Joseph. Can't wait to see how you do the rest of the competition as well as the rest of the year. Best of luck, and thank you so much for watching Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University is looking for talented robotics students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash first updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.